are looking up today, way up, because today is our tall show. We're making a really delicious and really tall cake, hosting a fashion show catering to tall women, and hearing from lots of people on what it's like living the high life. All of today's guests and everyone in our audience are six feet tall or taller in their stocking feet. Hi to every one of you, and thank you all for coming. We've, had, we've actually made one exception today. I'm six feet tall. Actually, I think a little bit more, but uh, only because I'm wearing the tallest shoes I could possibly find. These are Yves Saint Laurent. Now, Joey Cola, do you have Hi, your... Hi, Martha. What are you doing over there? I'm over here measuring Miss Tall Washington, D.C. Her <laughs> name is Joy. Because Pretty. you know what, Martha? They have to be six foot, but I don't trust everybody, so I'm measuring. Oh, okay. Now, how tall do you think she is? Well, this is six foot right here, but she's got heels on, and the heels are three inches, and she's a little bit two inches past that, which is you're about six what five now. What does little but yellow six, tag say, two. Joey? Six two. Six, six. two. Six two. <laughs> Her okay. little tag is accurate. We had um, actually very precise measuring downstairs. And Joey, how come we let you in? Well, they let me in because uh, because I have a little enhancement, I guess, today. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's see those. <laughs> how tall are you, really, Joey? I'm, I'm really 5'7", but now I'm actually, it uh, looks like I'm a relative of Frankenstein, Martha. <laughs> Well, Joey Cola is actually a little shorter than the average American man. I knew it, Joey. I knew you were below average. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and can anyone guess the height of the average woman? American woman? Anybody? Five, 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 five. Well, the average American woman is still, and this is surprising to me, is five feet, four inches tall, which I think is short, don't you? Especially <laughs> all of us would think so. Um, I grew up in a, in a family of quite tall people, and uh, there's a very famous movie star who happens to be right smack in the middle at five foot seven. We thought it would be a very good idea to have him here as a point of reference. But before I introduce today's uh, tall guest, Joey, um, is, is our guest ready? He's here, and it's a good booking, Martha. He's a big star. Yeah. I love your shoes, Joey. Oh, Tom! So, now... I like to pet short people on top of their heads. <laughs> oh, Tom, too bad. <laughs> Actually, I have, um, I have uh, stood next to... Is that the word, way you uh -huh. say it? I have stood next to Tom Cruise, and I must say, height means nothing. You look into those eyes, it's all in the eyes, so... Forget about that. Now, um, let's meet today's tall guests. Please welcome Ariane Cohen, Lisa Butcher, and Ellen Roby. Come on out, thank you. Oh, yes, look. Oh, my goodness. Ariane is six feet three inches tall and the author of a great book called The Tall Book, a celebration of life from on high which gave us the idea to do the show in the first place. Thank you very much. Tom looks too small for you. Who's Top Gun now, Tom? Yeah, <laughs> Top Gun, right? <laughs> and uh, Lisa Butcher is six feet tall. She's a model and, and also an actress and hosted the BBC's What Not to Wear. Was that only for tall people or for all people? It was for everyone, every shape and every size. Okay. And... Um, our uh, award-winning pastry chef, Alain Roby, is here, and he is six feet, two inches tall. Yes. Yes. And uh, yeah. so come on, sit down over here. Come sit down with me. And we will um, talk a little bit more about being tall. Now, I, I noticed that you're wearing flat shoes. I am, and it's because this table has given me a wonderful opportunity to talk about uh, how, how furniture is not made for tall people. So when you cross your legs, you actually, oh, see, I can't even cross my legs when I'm hitting the table. What are you ah. doing, Martha? Yeah, it's hard, right? Yeah, it's really hard. So uh, I just wanted to ask, what's the, what's the most difficult thing about being tall for you? Well, let's start with Ariane. Um, for me, it's constantly being public, and uh, tall people who are shy really tend to uh, struggle with never being able to hide and always sort of being the center of attention, which can be really hard for some people. And when you were growing up, did anybody give you any advice on how to behave being a, a beautiful tall woman? 
No, and I think that's one of the most important things that people can do if they have tall children is really make sure that there's a tall role model around, somebody who genuinely enjoys being tall right. and likes it. And also to put children in activities where being tall is an asset. Lisa will like this. I, my daughter was getting tall. You know, she's like 5'11 or something. And uh, as she grew, you know, the young girls, when they're 13 years old, they start to start to go like this, you know, when they stand. Yeah, mine do as well. They do? Well, mm -hmm. I told her you can buy any clothes you want as long as you stand tall. So she started to stand really tall, and the first year, the bill was $60,000. Sure. It was horrifying. Maybe okay. <laughs> wish you never said that. No, you know what? <laughs> she has beautiful posture, and she's a beautiful tall woman, and I think it helped her. It's good to stand yeah. tall. I mean, I had terrible posture you when did? I was growing up. So yeah, you... but luckily my brothers are six foot six, so oh, I was quite so. small in comparison. So but... what's what's the hardest thing for you about being tall? Not being able to wear high heels. Because, oh. I, I mean, I love yes. your shoes. They're yes. fantastic. But I tower over anyone. I'm literally drag queen height. That's the problem. And when I used to live in South America with my late husband, I was called Senor. I mean, it's mildly it, offensive. It's, oh, it but, is. You know. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So and that, that's my issue with it. So and, you, and so you, you have you to just remain very feminine. Which is hard sometimes because sometimes you don't find clothes that fit. Right, I and see. And a lot of women that I've had to dress in the past who are tall have had to wear sort of very masculine and men's clothes. And the issue is shoe size as well, of oh, course. Oh, definitely. Now, Alain, you have no trouble being six feet tall as a man, uh, right? I do have a problem actually where I oh. live. I have a, a, an older home. It's an English Tudor, and some of the ceilings oh. are low, and I always bang my head. So that's not funny, guys. No, that isn't funny. You that's... know, so I bang my head uh, yeah. in a lot of places in the house because right. some of the things. So, but anyways, so that's... Yeah, that is a problem. Now, what's the best thing about being tall? Being, on, being tall and being on your tall show. This is a, a life highlight. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? The best, well, I, I made a career out of it. Yes. I was in fashion. I started when I was 14 years old. So actually, I've, I've, I've made a career out of being tall. So yep. it worked for me. And it was great, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Tall, svelte, thin, beautiful. Oh, I mean, you. it works. Pretty it works. Thank the you. The whole package, <laughs> the whole package works. And look at her, look at the great dress she can wear. And she keeps her, keeps uh, thin enough Thank to you. look really great. I designed this. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. it's, I oh, love it. Much. I love it. Thank it you. looks great. <laughs> Now, Alain, what about you? What's the best thing? Uh, the best thing is the air is much cooler on the top. <laughs> yeah, that's the usual joke. I'm sorry. I didn't in a bakery, that. right? No, in a bakery, I can reach any, everything. Can and reach. I have uh, some employee that uh, a little short, so they always say, Chef, can you reach this for me, girl? So, you know, that's the great thing. You can reach really uh, anything you want. Oh, okay. So that's, that's good. <laughs> well, I look forward to talking uh, more with each and every one of you yes. and with our audience, too. We'll be right back.